You know, I, I don't know exactly what the, the combination or, or, or how the process goes of how do you get in the Hall of Fame because it seems to be like one of those secret Masonic things. It's really quite an honor. I mean, because if you think of it, you're not being voted in by the public. You're being voted in by your peers. So the same guys that taught you, basically, when we were 16, we were listening to the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and the Who and the Yardbirds, they're all in the audience. And they're the ones that voted on you. I mean, so that's really the real honor. Rob Zombie is inducting me uh, because he's sort of like my little brother. And, uh, you know, Frank Zappa one time said something to me. He said, look, either you get it or you don't get it. You know, in other words, I can't explain uh, my, my music or my humor to everybody. And I felt the same way. Rob Zombie gets it. You know, uh, horror and rock and roll and comedy are all in bed together. I think it, it took a long time for people for, to establish the fact that Alice was rocks Moriarty or rocks Darth Vader or Bela Lugosi, whatever. But there was no rock villain. There were tons of rock, you know, heroes, but no rock villains. There were tons of Peter Pans and no Captain Hook. And I gladly said, I'll take that spot because I, I, I was always a fan of the villain anyways. And I was built to be the villain. I looked like a villain. And musically, we were subversive. We weren't, ex we weren't top 40 radio until we actually got 14 top 40 hits. I, I lead two entirely different lives. I mean, you know, uh, there was a time when I didn't know where Alice started and where I ended you know, when I was drinking. Uh, then when I got sober, I, I had to clearly define who Alice was and who I was. Alice loved to perform on stage. He has a different posture than me. He talks differently, he has a different sense of humor, he looks different, he performs differently. Me, I go to the movies, I go to the, you know, play golf every day, I've got a family, I've been married 35 years, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I am the absolute opposite of who Alice is. Oh man, there's so many, you know, I would, if I covered a Burt Bacharach song, that would probably surprise a lot of people. Uh, I would say any Burt Bacharach song, because I mean, I think that he'd, you know, it would be a hard, flip of the coin between him and Paul McCartney, uh, uh, who was really the best songwriter, you know. Uh, but I think a Burt Bacharach song. Uh, pick one. <laughs> <laughs> the strangest golf foursome. Well, how about Groucho Marx, Alice Cooper. Uh, didn't play that day, but Milton Berle was there. And Don Knotts was right in front of us. Uh, that was a pretty good foursome right there. I'd say it's more the answer, what's the worst movie I've seen? You know, honestly, because Gosford Park was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Whereas Jaws 3 in 3D, I mean, the shark eats a helicopter. That's my eight bucks right there. And the book of James is, in the Christian religion, is James talks about works. Other books talk about faith. He says you can't have one without the other, and that's a big controversy, but uh, probably my favorite book in the Bible, James.